service sub-level access is restricted.
This is Nasser Adil, security chief for the Exist Labs facility. Log entry November 3, 2145. We are seen in an increasing level of violence and unexplained violence by Exist staff. Supplied storage cabinet 965 with the accompanying code of 4 to next chamber working. Nasser but to do that, out. I need you to find a plasma inducer for the stabilizer bank. There's one in engineering. Now, if you head through the service tunnel, you can reach it. I'll unlock some doors. There. That will give you the necessary clearance. Now, please, get the inducer and hurry back. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Supply Manager for the Exis Labs facility. 
Entry dated October 6, 2145. I have received the latest shipment of MK7 spacesuits from Earth today. They have a triple weave of titanium mesh on the outer layer for classified excursions. With the ongoing construction requiring additional EVA time on the Martian surface, these new suits should hold up better. In the last two months, we've had a number of unexplained suit decompressions resulting in fatalities. In the case of technician Mike Stanley, the decompression was so rapid the resulting implosion caused him to almost liquefy fuels with the suit interior. Looking for his suit name tag, yeah. There wouldn't be much to identify. In each case, the penetrations and loss of pressure appear to occur from inside the suit rather than out. I can attest these suits were thoroughly inspected and micro-scanned after the incidents and no material degradations were found. Per UAC EVA regulations, these suits before the accidents were properly stored and locked away to prevent any mishandling. I also followed up with the technicians on ensuring the suits have the necessary pre-EVA checklist before anyone reaches the Martian atmosphere. I'm hoping the new suits will address the issue. Each suit lost this way just means more paperwork for me, so... Along with the new suit shipment, we received additional medical supplies. I placed the extra packs in the storage cabinet 071 with the access code of 532. Dmitry Libetov, end of war.
supervisor for the Exus Labs facility. We recently reached substantial completion on the facility's engineering sector and began work on the environmental systems sector. At this rate, we should be able to press the big boys up in Central Authority and score our completion bonuses. And last week I reviewed the construction documents and found another item where we can cut costs. My glass subcontractor mentioned the moxie for the exterior. The alternative material placement for the base architect for review. On our Tuesday progress meeting, we are using the on Build shit before he was born. Anyway, I managed to get the mix on seals ordered. I bypassed the architect and talked directly to corporate. I showed them the savings and that seal the deal. We'll be installing the exterior windows in environmental and we get he will never know the difference. I'm so convinced the glass and seal will hold up that I'm gonna take a rocket launcher test it on those windows. Not a show the stupid architect. Pulse him out! Bernice Tooley, Operations Coordinator stationed in Exus Labs. I would like to file my third formal complaint to Central Authority about the problems with the work environment here in Exus. It has become increasingly difficult to be productive while construction is going on throughout the facility. The construction workers are and are overtly sexist. They use our office space as an unauthorized shortcut and track dirt and debris as a result. In addition to their mess, they insist on drilling and hammering during our core staff hours. Some of them have repeatedly made inappropriate comments that clearly call When I approached the construction supervisor to remedy the situation, he told me in no uncertain terms to mind my own business. Actually, his exact words were, don't worry, you're pretty much ahead of me. We are already on edge with the unexplained events occurring around the facility, and to add this insult to our tight schedule is too much to bear. If I cannot persuade Central Authority to take this complaint seriously, I'd like to remind them of Section 20, Paragraph 9 of UAC Facility Regulations Code. It clearly states our employee rights, and we do not need this nonsense. I suggest you reprimand the individuals responsible and take adequate measures to ensure it doesn't happen again. Do not make any additional complaints. Bernice Tooley, signing off.
perfectly, and the teleporter is ready for transport. Here's the situation. There's a teleporter outpost in the other dimension, and it's still operational. It's very powerful, and it has a range that could lead those demons all the way to Earth. I would disable it myself, but it requires two people to do it. One person at the outpost to initiate the teleporter, and another person here to transmit a power search to destroy it. I know it's a lot to ask, but you'll need to go to the other dimension, find the remote outpost, and initiate the startup sequence. You're our only hope of defeating this evil. I've got the teleporter ready to go. All you need to do is go into the chamber and initiate the sequence. I'll handle the rest from here. But before you go, I want to give you my personal account of what happened here. It explains everything. The advanced teleporter, how the madness started, everything. It's over there on the console. Please take it. The world needs to know the truth. And good luck. My name is Dr. Richard Meyer. I'm a researcher. I don't know who will be hearing this, but I wanted to alert someone to the disaster caused. What has been unleashed Just across the main main console. is that when you reach the outcome, the only has a slight chance of teleportation. The research I did was the next step in teleportation. Back in 2115, UAC researchers discovered an ancient...